Testing, one, two, one, two. I have to be honest with you guys. I am the most laziest person you'll ever meet. I don't like to work. I don't like to commit to any type of job. And I recently made a purchase that I got to tell you, this is going to change my life forever because I feel like filmmaking is finally going to become my job. My dream has always been to become a content creator. I want to be a YouTuber and I'm committing to this because I have to otherwise... I can't make a change for myself for the life that I really want. I had to make the decision to be completely alone. Obviously, my dog is my companion, but completely alone without any distractions so I can become my dream. The past few years, I went through a lot because I made decisions to change my life or uproot my life to be with people or to date. And those were just distractions that kept me from becoming my dream. What I learned was that I had to end up completely alone to make my dream a reality. With being alone, you have to deal with being lonely or feeling that you don't have any type of support. But I had to come to terms with that. And I figured out some ways to just find my inner zen when life got rough. Since I finally found a way to have my own space after dealing with starting over, I realized that I found some sort of tranquility for myself, and I want to share what I learned with you. Don't get me wrong, I did live alone for eight years before moving back to my family's house and then moving back out, living with friends, and having roommates. When the opportunity presented itself, I found a way to move back by myself and just not have distractions around me. With moving by myself, I had some opportunities for personal growth and I had to learn that solitude had given me a chance to reconnect with myself again because I had lost that. And I somewhat had to navigate this journey with grace. One of the things that I actually learned, I found this on Pinterest actually, was actually sitting up straight and I would sit in the sun and breathing in and breathing out i would imagine roots coming from the ground and growing into the soles of my feet and i would imagine just reaching deep into the earth's core and anchoring myself safely to earth i felt the energy just flowing from myself and to the earth and back again nourishing us both to exchange that love and support I've been spending time with nature, taking walks with my dog, just having a quiet atmosphere. And I would also write down my positive affirmations to celebrate myself. I've been doing mindful eating where I would just eat and not have my phone in my face. And I've been decluttering my space, just my home, and I've been decluttering my mind. There are some rituals for self-pampering that you can do like a solo bath you have to prioritize self-care most importantly when you're alone living alone really taught me to just take care of myself we are all afraid of being alone 100 percent. but rather than fearing solitude you have to befriend it i've learned to befriend being alone and I've created a list of hobbies that I do enjoy doing by myself. I go out. I learn to be consistent with the ability to take care of myself. Part of the reason why I've been so committed now to my craft and what I actually want to do to change my life and my future is I write things down. 
I literally write everything down. I have journals and I have lists of things that I like to keep track of because that has kept me from not doing anything. And it's kept me very grounded in continuing to pursue my dream. This has been just such a beautiful journey to finding my own balance. And I hope that in some way you can find your inner Zen and your inner love for yourself even in the midst of life storms you have the power to create serenity within yourself and to really focus while you are alone without distraction so let your life be the canvas for your self-discovery and the inner peace that you need and i hope you have a wonderful day and see you in the next video bye